All right, so this is truly a champion box, man. Look at that thing. Braces are definitely on point. That thing is solid, guys. That thing is not going to go nowhere. Trap Game Man, welcome back to another video. And so let's actually just jump right into this video real quick. So today's video is a long awaited titty panel. What I'm actually doing right now is I'm gonna make my tweeter rings. So I'm actually gonna measure out the tweeter. So it is two um, inches wide and let's see how big the um, the cutout is. So the cutout's probably gonna be like one and three quarters. Pretty sure there's probably other ways to do this, but this is just like my way. So pretty much, I'm gonna make a um, a compass. So pretty much, um, I drill a hole, and then so from the hole, since it's a two inch, we're gonna need to at least get make the ring at least three inches. So since it's um, three inches, and we're doing a compass, we gotta go to half of that, which is three and a half. So like right here at the three and a half mark, we drill a hole. So our pencil can like go right through it you see what I'm saying and then we'll just actually come back and a little further up and just drill another hole to so where the um, when we put the pencil inside that it's actually um, the hole for the tweeter cut out okay so I got both of my holes drilled and so what I actually I'm actually gonna do now is I'm just gonna actually countersink I'll probably make this the the screw ring the screw hole a little bit bigger just so it gives me a little bit more uh, of a swing action on the um, when I screw it down and then I'll countersink it so it really can give me some good swing action so um, it gives me a nice little like circle so we just do this. and then bust out our countersink But at least it gives us our circle. And so check it out. And that's our um, cutout for the uh, dome tweeter. The inside line we're actually going to cut on the outside. So um, it... Uh, you guys have right we have two uh, tweeter rings so now I am actually gonna go ahead and with my drill bit again so we're actually gonna drill on the outside right here and right here and then right here Get inside those lines right there. I don't know if I'm a router. These things, are, these things are way too small to router. I don't want to mess up my fingers. It is Sunday. I got Sunday fun day, so we're not gonna do none of that stuff. <clears throat> but I am gonna round them out with the DA. So when we uh, glue them in place and to, uh, put the fleece on it, it has nice rounded corners versus it just being flat. You see what I'm saying? So let me cut these out real quick. You're always gonna want to cut the inside ring first, then the outside ring because it's a lot easier to cut the inside than having to cut the, the outside first and hold it and uh, cut the inside because that thing's going to be wobbling. So I got the first one cut, I'm about to cut the other one, then cut the outsides out, then uh, round them over with the DA and the rings are ready. I'm going to router the six inch rings and I'll show you when I router that and then we're going to mount these rings on that titty panel, fleece it and glass it today guys. So subscribe to the channel, drop some comments, the titty panel is finally getting Basically built. what I'm doing now, I marked... Um, from point to point, um, so we know that what's uh, the center or what area to work in. So from here to here, it is 20. Same thing from over here, from there to that line is 20. And then from here to here is the same measurement as this one. So the piece of tape is just to give me, um, for me to draw a line so I don't go out through that area. And since it's only sixes, um, we get to stay in that area and the tweeters are very small so they can go like in the corners and the sixes can go right here even if i have to wrap my fleece underneath it it's still fine because the sixes will still stay there and if anything we can just cut this um plastics out so the sixes are not popping up like so ugly so i'm going to put this piece of uh, another piece of tape right here 
draw my lines, take the tape off, and then we can start gluing rings down. So now I know pretty much to now I know pretty much just to stay inside this uh, um, border right here. So basically, you know, we'll just do like a six here, a six here, and maybe a tweeter right there, and a tweeter in there, and it is done. But we're gonna pop this out just a hair, um, just so the speakers can sit in there, and. The speakers are not even that deep, guys, so it doesn't even require that much crazy stuff. But we are still going to put a um, good amount of strength on those rings so they don't collapse while we're fiberglassing. Let me show you. So we're doing the sundowns. And these are just like a component system. But you see, they're like shallow. They're not like real deal mids to where they need to be like high up. But four inches, I think this is probably only like two inches. So we should be good. Since we're doing fiberglass, remember, we got to router out and put that lip in it so we can be able to run our staple through it so it can give us nice sharp edges whenever we um, glass it and then so it gives us nice curves um, whenever we start doing bondo and we wrap it all right so let me clean this up so I'm cleaning as I go because um, I need to get organized like this is the work area right here so we need to get rid of this big piece of wood that's out of here uh, no we could probably just tuck it away because we had to finish my boys console and we need some wood for it so why spend extra dollars when we already have it? all right so let's router some rings out real quick we already have our router already set um, to the setting that we need so we can get that lip. So we'll get on. rings we pretty much got everything cut out everything that we need woodwork wise and now we have to put out our trusty old gorilla glue um, gun man this thing is no joke like for, for rings and stuff man I, that is like the best thing to do if you're gonna do fiberglassing uh, and so if you're gonna hot glue the rings in use the um, gorilla glue gun with the gorilla glue sticks and listen you will not be disappointed guys Okay, so let me um, get some of the So basically what, what's gonna happen is we'll probably just do this. Or maybe like a tweeter. A little risen up. You see what I'm saying? On each side and then be done with it. So basically, you know, um, we'll uh, that right here. So we'll probably put like a, like one of the little smaller stands and then we'll put a bigger stand that way the tweeter so the rings good. are actually mounted and um there you guys have it so basically it's two sixes they got like a kick on them and then the dome tweeter firing forward but once we uh fleece it and everything it'll give it nice little curves and uh it should look pretty good so now all the rings are in place so after the stage after here is we have to fleece but when we fleece we got to make sure that you know saying we go on this line and you know somewhat like stretch it out and like curve it a little bit so it'll blend right in so it's a lot easier to um wrap with the vinyl because if you just have a hard you know um like uh, angle on it and when you're trying to pull it like in these areas right here man that'll be uh, impossible but we got good stretch vinyl, we got the heat gun, and we're not going to try to put that many um, crazy angles on this guy so that it actually um, dries good, doesn't taco, and it's easy to wrap. But you see it, so it doesn't look that bad. I mean, look at it, it's cloudy again. But we still are going to fiberglass, but we're going to do like 
a nice slow kick so basically we, it has all day to uh, to dry so it's not too crazy and doesn't taco or warp just like the other door panels so we're gonna slow fiberglass resin this guy um, we're gonna not mix it up as much so it can you know um, react slowly and still like strong so I have it fleeced up I stapled it some but like I said man with it being that plastic it just um, acts funny and it'll bounce and ricochet and make stuff come out so we just left um, it covered completely and we only stapled a few uh, places where we need to get some curves so we, then we can fill it in with bondo and it can look really nice so now it's fleeced up we have our resin which is a uh, we're doing a cup we're gonna do uh, on the measure cup 10 cc because it's a little windy and it's not hot but I still don't want it to talk on me so it's gonna slow dry we have our stirring stick our paintbrush that we're gonna put the uh, resin on with and then we actually have strips of fiberglass mat that we're gonna actually put along the edges so it, it um, bonds to it really good and it doesn't break or anything I may actually put a piece of wood um, underneath it right there just so um, it don't uh, stick to the table so that's better so it's actually levitating on it so the panel don't stick to it um, so now we're gonna go ahead and mix our ABK stir it up resin it first resin it really good and then put the um, the fiberglass mat just on the uh, where the seams are at with the staples just so it'll grab it good and then with the good fiberglass resin we got man it's gonna turn into a rock and then we just uh, sand it down and wrap it you know that's good and drop any questions man quick little titty panel it's gonna be nice wrap it in that same gray good so give the video a thumbs up man if you ain't watched that video from yesterday on that box build man that that box was no joke so subscribe to the channel check that box build out Drop any comments and hit that like button. Okay, so I'm actually gonna bring you today with me in resin. So you see, I'm just like getting real heavy with the resin, just because I want this thing to be actual strong, especially like right here with the rings. Um, with the rings, what we're gonna do to cut the the holes out on that and on the tweeters, we're gonna do. Um, I got a real small flush mount router ring that I can just mount on the router, and then it'll cut those out like nothing nice and cut and then we keep the integrity structure of the fiberglass good because we kept it so get these corners in really good so that guy in man don't be scared you know get these edges real good bring them out just a little bit past the staple line it's okay you know don't forget you're gonna wrap it so it really doesn't matter as long as it doesn't look like a big glob you're good and then just sand her away. Like right there is getting really nice. Soak this up because so then when that fiberglass mat that we put on it, you want that thing to grab good. And like punch it, get that underneath it so it bonds to that guy really good. See what I'm saying? Load that thing up. You got a full cup, man, so don't be scared to get it on there. But if you're working with limited supplies, man, you know, supplies, just go ahead and uh, just try your best to get it everywhere. So it still gives you good coverage. Okay, so I'm going to put down the camera and I'm going to get really into this thing so we can get it done. And then I'll see if I can pick it up once I put the fiberglass mat. So the titty panel is fiberglass and we actually did the fiberglass around all the staple lines from all the way from the bottom side to the top and we did a center strip along with a one in the middle and some here and there just because so we can just take up that full cup of uh, resin so it doesn't go to waste um, but we pretty much got it already good like the angles are somewhat you know good um, so we're actually gonna let it dry throughout the whole day and then tomorrow, like around like 10 o'clock, I'll just come out here and sand her out. And it should be done like in one day. Um, sanding in this thing, it is um, detailed, but not as detailed as like painted, but it is vinyl, but it's just a small panel, so it shouldn't take that much. So we're gonna knock a lot of it out with the grinder, then come back and do a, a skim uh, of a uh, body filler, and then 40 grid it down, and then 80 grid it down to where it's just 
um, smooth it does, and make sure that it doesn't have no crazy like humps or dips or any stuff like that. Um, and then we'll wrap her up. But that'll be sanding and vinyling is in tomorrow's video. So go ahead and leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. I was able to get a little bit more hands on on this build. We saw a little bit more detailed stuff in this one, in this video. Um, and then hopefully I can uh, keep bringing you videos like that where it's, you know, we're in it. You know what I'm saying? Working. Um, like I said, I just don't want to mess up my camera. And, um, but if we have to mess it up to get good content, to be able to afford another camera, let's do it, man. We're going to get it. So that is it for today's video. It is noon. Uh, I hope you guys have a good Sunday. I'm about to start Sunday fun day. And I'll keep you posted. Man, I may even just start posting on that family channel just so you can see what we got going on on Sundays. So subscribe to the channel, drop some comments, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.